intermittent fasting is a pretty easy and effective way to lose weight. You just stop eating and it's very simple. But there may be a few reasons why you're still struggling with it. If you're doing intermittent fasting but still fat, then check out this video about why you're still fat despite fasting really hard. Fat. Number one, binge and fast cycles. Once you become fat adapted, it's quite easy to fast for several days in a row without really suffering from it. But it doesn't matter how long you fast, if you still overconsume calories after breaking the fast, you're gonna compensate for it. It's very easy to reward yourself with more food and some extra treats when breaking a fast because you think you deserve it. Unfortunately, you'll just be consuming additional calories that all add up. Instead of looking at your daily calories, you have to account for the entire weekly caloric balance. One day of fasting and eating two days of worth of food on other days is like walking in circles. If you don't know why you're not losing weight, then you should measure how much food and calories you're actually eating. Uncontrollable binge eating after breaking a fast, aka refeeding syndrome, is caused by electrolyte deficiencies which can be easily prevented by drinking some salted water during fasting. Number 2. Leptin Resistance Leptin, the satiety hormone, regulates appetite and controls body weight by signaling the brain the availability of energy. Whenever you receive enough calories and nutrients, leptin should send a message to the brain to stop eating. When you begin to run low on energy, leptin levels should drop and signal your motivation system to start searching for food. Leptin resistance is a situation where your brain doesn't respond to leptin and you don't get the satiety signal. It's inevitable that when you go on a weightless diet and you start eating less calories, then your leptin levels will drop. This is gonna make your brain crave more food and makes you hungrier because you want to hold on to the fat. But hyperleptinemia, which is chronically elevated levels of leptin, can also cause leptin resistance. Things that promote leptin resistance are chronic stress, sleep deprivation, inflammation, simple carbs, hyperpalatable foods, hyperinsulinemia, drinking alcohol, frequent snacking, gut dysbiosis and inadequate autophagy. Number 3. Chronic stress. Chronic stress has many dangerous side effects such as shutting down digestion, suppression of the immune system, sleep problems, anxiety and fat loss plateaus. It also impairs self-control and promotes overeating. Different stressors like sleep deprivation, relationship problems, working a lot, not getting enough nutrients, doing a lot of fasting, caloric restriction, high intensity exercise, all of those things, they add up and they all become stressful. Yeah! Being in caloric deficit and doing long fasts all the time can also cause metabolic adaptation and slow down your fat loss. That's where it's important to know how to cycle periods of fasting with adequate nutrient intake. Adaptogenic herbs and medicinal mushrooms can help with stress. Things like maca, ginseng, turmeric, ginger, chaga, reishi, cordyceps. Number 4. Your body fat set point is high. The body fat set point theory states that your body tries to maintain a specific weight range and balance. Think of it as a thermostat or autopilot that tries to keep you always within a tight window. When your body fat set point is high, then you'll subconsciously feel better and more secure being fat. To lower your body fat set point, you have to establish a new homeostasis where your body feels comfortable at with your current energy intake and expenditure. This entails eating fewer calories and feeling satiated from it. Caloric restriction also promotes longevity, general health and weight loss. The key is to do it without becoming deficient in nutrients. To avoid that, you have to eat nutrient-dense foods and avoid the high-calorie foods that are simply empty in calories. Number 5. You have the self-identity of a fat person. Your self-identity and beliefs are one of the most valuable things for you as a person. If your self-identity is based on being fat and you're accepting it as a part of yourself, then you'll begin to subconsciously sabotage your behavior as to fit the fat person's self-identity. To change your self-identity as a person, you have to change your mindset about food. Basically, it involves choosing to become a different person. Secondly, you also have to adopt a lot of discipline and self-control to engrave new habit loops into your brain. Your brain is always rewiring itself based on the thoughts and emotions you experience. To change your self-identity, you have to change the thoughts and emotions you experience most often. Number 6. You're addicted to dopamine. Dopamine is the reward neurotransmitter that makes you feel fulfilled and motivated after having done something right. In the modern world, there are far too many dopamine-stimulating things at our disposal, such as junk food, video games, sex, social media, alcohol, music, drugs, and partying hard. All of them can be addictive to a certain extent. That's where fasting and abstaining from these stimuli can be amazing for breaking addictions. One of the reasons people overeat is that they get too much dopamine from eating foods 
and they don't get it from other things. If you're grinding a 9 to 5 job, then the only thing that makes you feel satisfied in the evening is eating a bunch of food. If you were to get that same dopamine from other more positive things like relationships, working on your goals, having a bigger mission and purpose, then you wouldn't opt in for the easy way out and you wouldn't overeat. STOP IT! Number 7. You have poor digestion. Naturally, whole foods are full of digestive enzymes, prebiotics and probiotics that all help to metabolize that food better. Unfortunately, most food is deficient of them and a lot of people have some gut or digestion problems. Certain foods that help with digestion are ginger, apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, sauerkraut, kimchi, avocados, pineapple and kiwi fruit. Chewing your food properly and not overcooking it are also important. Taking some digestive enzymes like bio-optimizers can also help to fix digestion and assimilate the food better. It helps with bloating, constipation and inflammation. Number 8. Circadian rhythm mismatches. Circadian rhythm mismatches cause poor sleep quality, insomnia, increased stress and anxiety and they're also associated with obesity, diabetes, Alzheimer's, cardiovascular disease and increased risk of cancer. Not sleeping properly creates an imbalanced hormonal milieu that promotes fat gain by raising cortisol, blood sugar, insulin and increasing the desire to overeat. To not get fat because of a circadian mismatch you have to do these things. First, go to bed earlier around 9 to 11 p.m. and wake up at 4 to 7 a.m. These are the more productive hours of sleep because growth hormone gets released the most between 11 p.m. and 3 a.m. Growth hormone helps to preserve muscle and burn fat. Wear blue blocking glasses at night, don't look at bright screens and turn down the lights because it'll suppress the release of melatonin, the sleep hormone. Blue and green light exposure at night promotes the production of fat cells. Sleep at least 6 to 8 hours and make sure you get enough deep sleep. Sleep deprivation will elevate cortisol and makes you more stressed out, which has a cascading effect on actually promoting fat gain and muscle loss. Number 9. You're not exercising. Muscle tissue is like a massive sponge for calories that increases your basal metabolic rate and insulin sensitivity. It helps you to eat more food, especially carbohydrates, without gaining weight. When you're eating at a caloric deficit and trying to lose weight, then it's actually more important to be doing resistance training because it will send the right signal to your body that you need to have muscle and burn the fat instead. Doing exclusively cardio, on the other hand, will send the opposite message that you don't need muscle and you want to keep the fat. Fat is it? Number 10. You're eating healthy junk food. Eating foods with a lot of flowers, artificial sweeteners and other overstimulating ingredients makes it much easier for you to overconsume them. Almond flour pancakes, keto bars and some cauliflower pizza are okay every once in a while but they shouldn't be a staple in your diet because they're hyperpalatable. In general, it's much more easier to avoid all of these hyperpalatable foods, especially when you're dieting, because it will make it easier for you to stick to it and you're not going to overconsume calories. Fasting is still great, but it doesn't matter how long you fast. If you fall off the rails when you break the fast and you still gain fat, you can't outfast a bad diet. It's exactly like taking one step forward and two steps backward. If you want to start fasting, then check out my free ebook full guide to intermittent fasting. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay fat adapted, stay empowered. With your fucking 48% body fat.